but really, really simple. So if you've just gotten your makeup, you've probably gotten a little thing that looks like this, and then you get a bunch of tins, and you're like, what the heck do I do with these, Amory? So let me walk you through what to do, and then we'll apply it, and we'll keep it super, super, super simple. So if you get a color match for me, I send you some recommendations about what colors would work with your skin, and so if you need help with that, just text me or call me anytime, and then you'll get your tins of makeup that look like this, so you just slide them out real simple and the name is on the front right there and then it's also on the back so open up your compact this is this one holds 12 but we're just gonna keep it super super simple so you put the main skin tone color there your foundation color the one that looks most like your skin pop it in there you can put them in any order it doesn't matter then you can put in the contour just slide it right next to it it's all magnetic you can put your lip and cheek color in there and you can change it out anytime. And then, um, let's see, what did I do with my illuminator? Oh, let me get my illuminator in there. That's the shimmery one that's so pretty. Apparently I'm completely disorganized. Um, let's see, here's one that I use a lot. So I'm gonna just pop that in there and so the order doesn't doesn't really matter but as long as you know what the colors are and what they're for you can apply them and then um if you're gonna get one brush i would get this 30 second brush this is super fast you can use it for either end brushes aren't a big deal um but what you want to keep in mind is that if you're going to be covering a small spot you want a small end of the brush to get into small spaces so you're gonna pat just a little bit on the brush and move it around. And I, I am gonna tackle that little baby. I scratched myself in my sleep last night. Isn't that funny? Okay, so make sure that you get it in the corners of your nose because that there's always discoloration there and you don't need a lot. You're just kind of gonna stipple it in. So if you've got texturing or scarring, um, you're gonna wanna stipple the makeup in, and a little goes a long way. So you don't need a lot. And definitely cover the lids. And you can see, see how it just kinda evened out all of the freckling and the discoloration. And we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Sometimes I will go with my finger and apply it like right up under my lash line. Okay. So basically that's the main foundation color, your main color that looks most like your skin. And it can change as the seasons change. That color can change. And the fun thing is, is you can just message me and I'll help you pick a different color. Like for summer, whoops, what happened there? So the contour, I'm putting just a little bit under that cheekbone there like ooh, that ledge of my cheekbone and blending it up lately. I've kind of just been putting just a little bit there. And so you can kind of just put it right there. You can kind of blend it up. Same brush, same brush. Okay, a little bit up here. It's the four basic colors. And I get that into my hairline. And this is so optional, the jaw. Let me clean that off, hold on. So I've got this little brush tile too that I can just <laughs> smear it off. Okay, so you can bring your contour, like you can create a shadow here on the back of your jaw if you want to play with it. And down here, under your jaw. So this is like real basic, I'm not doing anything real advanced just kind of playing around with it. What I'll do with this, this brush is cinch it, put it in the contour, and then play with the nose contour like that. Just make sure the edge that you got the makeup on is what's actually, like it's going where you want it to. So that's why I like to cinch that one. And then I'll play with it up here, connect it to my brow. And then into that same main color, you can go down on the bridge of your nose. Blend that together. the blush, 
you can put on with your finger. And then if you're using that 30 second brush, either just clean it off on a paper towel near you or that little brush tile that can go right into your compact. And then put the blush up your cheekbones and the blush can come up here on the high point of your cheekbone, like up on the side and it'll, you'll blend it into the contour. So it just leaves like a really soft um, flush color. They kind of like blend together, simple. You can use that blush color as a lip color. And I kind of, I'll put it in the middle, the inner part of my lip. This one's Ruby. And I'm, I've been using it like a lip stain lately. And then the illuminator is that shimmery one. And I'll, that goes on your cheek catches the light and that's how simple a little four color palette can be real simple put on the edge of my nose on my cupid's bow the cream one is pretty for your lips too it's super creamy that's how you can use your four colors and do it in five minutes super simple there you go super simple four color five minute makeup give it a try let me know if i can help you with color matching i'd love to